Hey, hey, there we are. What's going on, everybody? I feel like it has been forever. Actually, it's pretty been a long time. So, yeah. <clears throat> it has been a crazy week. Uh, this week does not look to be much better. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. It has been a crazy week. Um, so my apologies for not getting enough streaming and video content out. I didn't even have enough time to hang out with the guys at Discord. So it is what it is. Um, but uh, I am here today, even though it is a slow Monday. Uh, I figured we'd come back to something we have not been to in a while. So I wanted to pop out this 1974 Haze again and take a few more joy trips. And this one was um, was very, very, very great uh, to hop back into this uh, here at the end of this, uh, I guess, this past weekend. Yesterday, out back in it. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot how much I like this truck. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I mean, it's all right, Zell. Uh, it's just, you know, it's... <laughs> Uh, my work just has no, like, um, yeah, close time. It's kind of like streaming, you know. There's no off time. There's no non-question answer time. There's no put up with complaints or any other things. It's just, you know, it's whenever people feel like writing stuff out. And then my other jobs, to some extent, uh, they sometimes this week have not had a start or a stop time on them either. So, unfortunately, IRL sometimes does have to win out, um, you know, on uh, on streaming. But anyway... One of these days, I'd like to change that. So, anyway. Share the stream and maybe we'll get there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyway, enough about the IRL, man. Let's have some fun tonight. It's going to be a nice, chill stream here uh, driving around. we got a, a couple little trailers. So, things we haven't, um, you know, really kind of, I don't want to say necessarily featured very much on here. It's just been a while since we've done some of these things. So, um, but, uh, but anyway, thanks to... Uh, Thanks you guys for coming out tonight as well. So I figured tonight's going to be just so slow because we haven't done anything. People are like, oh, we got what? I missed FTG stream. He did what? Uh, he did what? Uh? <laughs> so anyway, let me throw some shout outs here. Trips, good to see you, man. Keith as well. Franco, Aiden, Justin Moore. Good to see you guys. Slav, Jerry, what's up, man? Freightliner fan, Mr. Zell. Good to see you guys. John Brickner, hey, buddy. How are you, man? Brian Peck, Max Garage. Good to see you there. Island Crawler 22 as well. Double deuces there. Mr. C Pain, Proper Ox, man. Good to see y'all. Diesel JC, to boom. Uh, Brian, what's up? Skippy, what's up? What's up from Kathy and I? Hello, Kathy and you. Hope you guys are doing well. Ricochet, what's up? Does everybody, does, does anybody just get your name and go Ricochet? I'm just wondering if they say Ricochet. Ricochet in the chat. What's up, Master Dork? Good to see their team ATS. <laughs> Wait for the day after he stops the stream for work. I don't know if I'll stop, because usually I don't start the stream unless I know my other work is gone. So usually I'm used to pretty safe in that. Marcus, what's up, man? All the way from Germany. Guten Tag, Marcus. Guten Tag. Willkommen in Liebestream. Hmm. <laughs> Real life, what's that? Oh, no. We just live in a virtual trucking world. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, man. I know. I like these two. I like these two, uh, Brian. Yeah, these, these, they, they, and this rig actually is really good. Uh, we don't really have too many old rigs. Uh, we just did a 359, which one, obviously this one, and then we're going to start throwing in Chaos Shadow Walkers as well because he's got a lot of classic rigs. I think some guys would really enjoy his interiors. are always superb on there. So uh, I'm going to double sure, I'm gonna double check and make sure that all those are updated, So um, especially if you guys have never really seen any of that stuff featured on the channel. It's been a while since we've done videos with them. Uh, then we'll start pulling those things out here in the next week or two. It's going to be good. So good dog. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I remember a little bit. I don't know if that was German or if that was Dutch. I can't remember. <sighs> I can't. I can't remember. There, there was. I had a, a few sayings there. It was a Polish. I used to know a little Poland, a little French, a little Italian, a little German. Just a little, uh, a little enough to welcome people in the streams. Good to have you, man. It is what like probably like what two in the morning, two thirty, three thirty. Whoa. It's late or early, depending on how you look at it. Depends on whether or not you've been asleep or not. <laughs> Rich, what's up, man? Good to see you there as well. Alex, hello, Mathis. What's up, man? Mr. Worldwide, located three. Good to see other guys here in green, man. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Joey been busy, man. That's all I can say. I didn't even dude, I didn't even get a chance to even race once last week. I was literally covered up. I don't even know if I even shot up in the Discord maybe once or twice. Yeah. Jack of all trades, master of none. That's pretty much how it goes. If I was the master of none, I would either be streaming all the time and doing it full time, or I would not be doing it all. <laughs> That's pretty much how that runs. 
Three thirty. All right, man. <laughs> Travis, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. There's really good stuff out there. I want you guys to see. <laughs> so it's all good, man. Don't ever feel obligated to to buy. I always make sure you guys don't ever feel obligated to buy anything. But if you do, hope you enjoy what you do see on here. So, <laughs> what's up, Seek? How are you, man? There's the man with the plan. The guy with a uh, beautiful 74 Hayes Clippers. Also going to be throwing out a uh, Ford, I think, in due time. Very quickly. So, it's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well, Mr. Mason. This is my job. Jody, what's up? Alex Brown, good to see you guys. Uh, what's up? Miles D, what's up, man? How are you, Robert? Good to see you. Mr. Antonio Singrani. Good to see you there, Mr. Antonio. Mo, what's up, friend? How are you, man? It has been a while. It's been a minute. All right, we're fixing to get in the Southern Rock. I don't want to start screaming free bird here in a minute. Uh, Y'all ready to get this? Well, we got all our cams pop up there. We're, we're all ready to go. Let me make sure this one's ready. I, I kind of just threw this one in the lot. I guess it's all right. Let me move it over just a little bit, maybe. I feel like it was up in my business for a minute there. I was like, meh. Feels weird. Feels weird. Uh, Barbie Dale. There's a name I hadn't seen in a minute. What's up, Barbie Dale? How are you? Barbie Dale 88. That's what I'm talking about. Alamosa. A few things for you guys to realize today. We are going to be in Colorado. At least this is where we're going to start. That is by far my favorite. We're also in the 74 Hayes Clipper. We've all got the Fontaine Step Deck from Pingas. Pingamods.com. Uh, you can check this where we've been doing the 3 d 9 I uh, wanted to showcase, I just wanted to throw out some stuff that kind of go back through some of our, our standards. Bart standards are going to be up uh, this week as many times as we can stream. We'll get some more of his in there, um, showcase some of those, maybe even the ones you maybe hadn't seen in a minute. Uh, obviously, we got the step deck here from Pinga, which is another fantastic step deck. If you have Bart, you're like, man, I would love another one that has a little bit offset of uh, loads, looks a little different. This one definitely, I mean, for step deck, I mean, it still looks like a step deck, but it's still a little bit different. Um, but I like it. It's good. Both of those in my book are probably two of the best uh, step decks and probably two of the only two payware ones anywhere uh, out there. I know Root has got one, but it's a little bit lacking just the amount of loads. Pingas and Barts now are pretty much chock full of loads, so you can essentially haul these things anywhere. Uh, sounds that you're going to hear tonight, at least with the 74 Clipper, are all you know, part of the trucks. They come with them. So there's no extra separate downloads that you guys will need. And the other thing is that we are going to be featuring, is you may have already seen it in the Skyline. We're back on JBX. You guys have been asking me, and I've received quite a few messages out of the past um, a couple of uh, probably last, probably the last stream of the stream before it, I had a, a, a lot of messages where people wanted me to come back and do some with JBX just so they could see comparisons, uh, whether or not I'm noticing any kind of frame difference with these. I would say yes, in most cases, you'd get a little bit better. Some cases, depending on which skybox is drawn in and what the weather is, sometimes not so much. But anyway, we'll be back on JBX. You can find that. Just Google JBX ATS Graphics. It'll take you to the forums, and then it's got all the purchase, installation instructions, all that stuff around there. All right? So, Justin Moore, what's up, man? Um, so, anyway, Scott's Van, what's up, friend? Good to see Scott up in the house. Kevin McCurry, what's up, man? Legendary Bizzle. Uh, what's the ping of sale code? I don't have a ping of sale code for 3 dollars I have the one FTG 20 for uh i have the ftg 24 doms 379 but i don't have one for the 389 so you know farmer t what's up man yeah loaded <laughs> yeah the boat docked at walmart yeah yeah pretty much uh yeah yeah that's the only thing with pingas you got to watch sometimes the loads bring you from crazy places into crazy other stores to drop ridiculous loads off so but anyway <laughs> So you are here in the NTC Big Cam, which already has some things um, uh, fished because I don't have it yet, buddy. That would be the easiest answer to that question. Um, and quite frankly, until he was done with it, uh, I probably wouldn't use it um, until he was ready for it to be released because I don't want to constantly spend the entire, um, I don't want to spend the entire stream having to say it's not ready yet. I mean, let's be honest. 
And I mean, nowadays, um, I don't know, man. I, I just don't, I don't, early access content for ATS is a joke. Um, nobody cares. Uh, ECS people care. Um, I could get Texas tomorrow, get one view of, uh, you know, tens of thousands of views. And after that, nobody care. Um, I think a lot of people get to the point now with video games and early access releases and first looks. People get to where they don't even want to watch them because they want to experience it for themselves. Um, so at least that's kind of the way I see it. it may not be that way, but um, that's just, I don't know. So I don't, I don't necessarily push too hard for those early, early access stuff. You know, I used to do, um, I used to do, uh, uh, what's his name? I used to get a lot of early access stuff from, from Zmods. And then he pretty much started putting all these stuff and doing his own YouTube thing. So he kind of, you know, cut the rest of us on. And so I was like, well, okay, I mean, do your thing. And it really doesn't matter whether or not I stream the stuff earlier, whether or not I stream it when everybody else has it. So I just think it's just a general, uh, like, it's just the way the, it's the way the markets go now. It's the way that, um, I think the, the gaming community just tends to not gravitate towards first, first looks anymore, which actually kind of sucks, but it is what it is. It's fine. We'll all, you know, we'll, we'll all, we'll all maneuver around. It's fine. Bad Company is loving Manitoba. What's up? David, always good to see, always good to see David in chat. He's another one of our guys that's up really, really, really late or early. However you decide to, uh, however you decide to track it. All right, so we're going to pick up a load. My favorite load with this trailer is these big old massive uh, truck tires we're going to pick up. Uh, so we're in Alamosa, Colorado, and I have no idea where we're going with these things. I think we're staying in. I think we're staying in. Uh, I think we're staying in uh, in state for this one. I think. Hey, Miss Strings. Yeah, man. Peter, uh, Peter did a great job with 389, man. Super good, man. Did a great job. Welch, what's up, man? Aaron Yates, good to see you guys. Hey, DJ Ice, it does. It sounds like an old truck, don't it? I like it, man. It's, got, it's definitely got the old school feel. Smokey Acres, what's up, man? Uh, Farm Fanatic? Yes. Yeah, Dom 379. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't have any promo codes for anybody but Dom. So Dom 379, 20% off that code, off that. And you can check the the uh, description. I've got all of my stuff in there. Um, so if you guys want to you know, run through what I might have in there for promos, most of my stuff is usually product stuff. Uh, most of the guys don't give me any kind of code except for Dom's, which I'm, I'm super grateful. It's pretty nice of him to do that. So, <laughs> See, Charles, I see. I'm telling you, man. It used to be, like, it's funny. You can actually go back to my first, because I started getting early access to, um, I started usually getting early access to DLC back in Washington. And uh, for some odd reason, they started cutting off the bigger YouTubers for a lot of the latter DLC releases. But regardless, I used to get those things pretty early on uh, in Washington. And I'd get, like, that was the last DLC for ATS that people, like, watched at early access and live streams and stuff after that. Like nobody watched them, and it, they didn't watch Idaho. They didn't watch Colorado. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Like all the YouTubers' videos were down, and I got a couple of messages from a couple of them on the ETS side. Was like, bro, why does nobody want to watch these videos? I was like, I don't know. I guess they just want to experience it for themselves. And there you go. <laughs> you said it best, man. <laughs> <laughs> Back up anyway. Well, sometimes that happens with me. Sometimes. Oh, I know, man. I like my fan, man. It's in Colorado in the wintertime, so it's probably pretty cold up in here, too. We'll just pretend that's blowing the hot air off the roof. Uh, no, there is no other YouTubers with promo codes. Uh, Z does not, to my knowledge, give out promo codes unless he's running a sale on his website. I mean, the sounds are only four or five bucks, so he's not going to run any promo codes on those. There's no point for that. I like these big mirrors, man. Big mirrors are my favorites. 
uh, how do you get it upshift without the clutch uh, so you watch my video if you go back to my main channel there tie fryer uh, if you go down to my main channel uh, YouTube channel and then scroll down to the bottom where it says modding 101 you should see a video video that says how to float gears and I'll kind of walk you through the exact process of how you do it Jesse we're pulling Pinkus Fontaine uh, step deck which is kind of a, a, a misnomer. Uh, a lot of people don't know this one out there it exists. Um, it, it doesn't really get a lot of play because everyone just automatically assumes and goes to Bart's. Um, but uh, it's a great trailer, man. It's got some really interesting loads, especially the farm sim guys that love farm sim. It's got a ton of farm sim loads on it. Up. Yes, sir, Corbin. Yeah, we've been talking about that over here for the past uh, couple of weeks. Yeah, so you'll see that flat glass here on the channel whenever some updates uh, come up with that one. Hopefully you'll see it first here. Nobody will care, Blake. I'm not watching. I'm going to wait till it comes out and be surprised. Or I'll just see pictures of it on Facebook and then beg for the link. <laughs> yeah, David. D David, this is one you need to get your hands on, David. You need to put some of your old school flare skins on this one, man. It's got a needle nose and a big old flat square in front front section on it's got two two different front ends you get some of your skin skinning uh your skinning prowess on this one <laughs> all right yeah here's these tires i love these ninety two thousand pounds so we'll pull about ninety two thousand pounds on about 450 horse engine so this will be more of your um realistic side of uh actually you know having an engine that actually feels like you're pulling your weight let's see i guess we're Oh, there it is. Shoot. Ah. Uh, it's a nice load there. Let's see. How can I do this? How can I do this? I should have gone around the other side. I oh, would we'll just drive around the other side. How do I have Kansas and all that in Alabama rail fanning productions? I have Great America, my friend. That's where it's at. Um, and I know these uh, these guys can uh, can throw some uh, links down there to uh, Great America as well. Maybe Mark or C Payne can can uh, can chalk that one out there for you guys. No problem, man. And it is a Patreon. Um, and, and I, you know, Voith would probably get mad if I said this. So, you know, take this with the greatest off. Um, one of the things that I do tell guys that I think they could do on that is if you want to pay for some, for updates, like maybe go ahead and support for a month and then get all the downloads you need. And then use that download until, and, and, and basically until you make sure it's something that you want. Because um, you're essentially an apps are never done, so it becomes an ending, a never-ending process. And I don't ever want to take money from modders and, and do that, but it's a good way to kind of just test the map out. And then if you want to, consider it like a pay for updates. So maybe by the next time the next update comes out that breaks the maps and all that good stuff, you can grab you another set of updates if it's really something that you like. I don't, I don't want people to ever feel like they get hoodooed in the mods. So I just try to, you know, make that kind of, make that uh, apparent. And it's still a good way to still support mods and modders with updates and that kind of stuff. I don't think any of them expect you to support, you know, lifelong 
of the mod. Uh, maps are just, I feel like, different if there's um, a, a lot of a lot of stuff going on development-wise with it. So he's doing a good job. Kansas is almost complete. I mean, it's pretty much all the big cities are there. He may put some other things, and he's actually working on a few other kind of filler mods for the other DLCs uh, to kind of help fill out where SCS left them blank. So there's definitely, definitely some more things there. So thank you there. Thanks, Keith Bates. Appreciate the sub, man. And we kind of got off a little bit there. I think it'll, I think it'll still give it to us. Connor Gurney, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Hey, what's up, Cobra Gaming? Good to see you, man. Tron Tasia, good to see you, man. All right. I like the interiors on this one. All right, let's load up some big old tars. Forget where we're going. I know we're headed north. Oh, this is what I love about JBX. Look at that sky right there. Isn't that incredible? Hang on. That sky. So a lot of people ask why the graphics and, and why any of that stuff is actually, I don't want to say important, but why anybody would pay for, for, uh, for JBX or any of that. Um, that's why. I mean, it does really look good. Um, it's a little pain in the neck to get updates and just keep all the files up to date when new, new things happen. But at the end of the day, man, it's, it's, it's a really good graphics mod. And we got some big old tires on here. There's no way they would stack them big old tires on a flatbed, but because this is ATS and it is a game, not a full out simulation, we can do it. And we can actually pull up with the 450 horsepower engine. So let's do it. Let's do it. What's up, Sean Smith? How are you, man? <laughs> yeah, Justin, I know. I uh, know. It's funny. I always bring up these step decks with these split axles. I don't know. I don't know where the pivot point on the axle uh, is. I feel like I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know which one gets which. I don't know if there's tire friction on these or if one of them are just a, like a dummy axle. I don't know if we got any like modders in chief in here that can answer why these are so hard in the game to back up. I don't necessarily know if it has anything to do with the real world reason why they are. <laughs> What's up, Fusion? You don't have to say hey anymore, man. Just just plug in chat. I don't want to see you get banned or get you timed out. So Talon, the only mod that you really need to so I don't have it in here. Shoot, I should I missed my I missed my point there to go. Alright. Thank you there, buddy. So the one that you probably want to look at is Team Reforma. Uh, Team Reforma does the Mexico map, and I know what you're saying. Well, I don't want to drive in Mexico. That's the only option if you're going to have logging roads, and I mean realistic ones. There are a few in Pro Mods Canada, but they're not really, they're not all that long, and after you've driven them once or twice, they kind of get boring. Um, if you want to do the Columbia, like the extreme extreme map thing is stupid in my point like I wouldn't even stream it ever to ever although everybody wanted me to I was like no nah, I'm not doing it I'm sorry um, the team reform has got the whole southern part um, up in the new uh, parts of Chihuahua um, are absolutely huge extreme either dirt logging um, there's a bunch of stuff on the south end of that map that's kind of like way off the beaten path that you're picking up big old and you need a good gosh really and you need you like a good uh, you need you a good like a, a logging mod and then it just makes all of it much more realistic and if I put something together this week for you there Trent I'll put something together on the team performance stuff and you check it out and if it's something you want to something you want to go then you can go download all the stuff and I'll put some links in and get you started how about that it's very nice hey what's up ghost trucker somebody must have been busy been a while since we seen you around man how are you pal we're doing good, man. Hope you're doing well. Ghost Trucker, he is, uh, if you guys, oh, ah, oh, the game let me go. Well, isn't it just nice? Usually they don't let me go. So it's good to, uh, it's good to see Ghost Trucker. He has been a big integral part of our big, huge Christmas rush and all the giveaways for that. So good to see you, Ghost. I hope you're doing well, man. Being safe on the road and all that good jazz. 
and thanks for six months on cruise control. Thank you there, Will Highsmith. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I was debating on what it will uh, debating on whether or not it would do that, Master. <laughs> I was debating on it, and I was like, oh, I'm probably not going to make this. Usually they cut you off and don't let you do it. So uh, let's pull up our map here. There we go. What's up, JRG? How are you, man? So there is a Diamond Rio uh, QWQ. Um, I, don't, I don't know the year that it was modeled after, but KI Shadow Walker has a Diamond Rio. Um, I can put at least in um, a little query to see what year it is. I plan on getting back into some KI stuff here, just because I think we've almost probably got a new playing base of people. And uh, probably a player base of ATS now that probably doesn't even know a lot of those trucks exist. But he's got a lot of oldie goldie ones too. So if you like this kind of style truck, KI has done a really good job on some. He's done some with like the Dodge Bighorn Ram. He's got the Diamond Rio. Uh, I think he's got the International. I think it's the 9300. Uh, he's got some good ones. He also does some of the Aussie spec ones as well, like the F700, the Max stuff, you know, right before when they were Brockway. He's got a couple of those too. So those are always good to pull out every now and again. Sometimes guys like some of the old stuff, you know. Good, man. It's good you're doing well, man. What's up, A-Rod? How are you, buddy? Welcome you buying these trucks. I've got your link in the description there, A-Rod. And good to see you, man. I hope you're doing good, too. Uh, just uh, send a message to Mason's Mod Shop, uh, and then he can, fix, he can fix you up. I did a little bit more of a more extensive build and drive on this video. I uh, forget where we... We did snow that. Uh, we did the Pro Mods Canada stream, but I did another one called 1974 uh, Logging, um, and now it's got a little bit more of a, I think it's got a more of an extensive build and drive on this one. It's good parts on this one, good parts list, and a uh, overall solid truck, man. <laughs> Night side. <laughs> yeah, I know I could. Um, I thought about doing some of those. Uh, I usually try to just stream them honestly and just tell people what's been updated. And, you know, I try to save the builds for doing those recreated builds, you know, where it's actually kind of nice. Um, I've really actually gotten into those a lot. I enjoy those. Uh, Farming Fanatics. So this one is the NTC Big Cam. Comes with the truck. So I don't, I think this is Jerry Slav's uh, NTC Big Cam which you can download off the SES forums. Uh, you can use this engine and other things, but this particular one at least comes with this truck, but you can download it uh, separately. Uh, SES, forum, uh, SES forums, Aaron, they actually have their, their own website. So just type in uh, Team Reforma ATS map in Google and it'll throw you up to, I think it's like Reforma map dot, I can't remember what it is, but anyway. It's there, and it's also in the Truckee uh, Mod Manager. So if you guys are using Truckee yet, uh, you can get it through their Mod Manager, which is pretty slick. And you can actually do automatic downloads and everything. Or updates, I should say. Jalen Williams, thanks for the sub. Yes, yeah, they got a Discord and everything. Oh, sorry, yeah, you knew that. <laughs> What's up, El Toro? Uh, how much is this truck? I think this truck... Um Seeker, what is this one, man? Look at that, man. Look at that. So, Seeker, he's the creator of this. How much is it all the way uh, for this, this truck with the $5 off? So, if anybody's looking to order tonight, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's how you sell some trucks there, Seeker. Good job on you, man. So, anybody who wants to tonight, got a, a special one-off tonight. $5 if you say, hey, FTG sent me. Yeah. Let me know how much that is, Seeker. I done forgot. I want to say it was 25, but I don't want to short sell you. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. 25 standard, $5.20. There you go. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, man. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, I always do. Uh, I do miss some things there, Fusion. Sometimes, and I don't, I don't answer things if people don't have a question. Doctor Hockey, it's in the description and uh, in the title. It's 1974 Hayes Clipper. Old school, old school rig, man. Key hook, what's up, my friend? Uh, if I could build the outlaw from the movie Steel Cowboy. The Mercury Sleeper. Let me look at it, Lee. I'm not like totally familiar with it, right offhand. Let me look at it and see if I can uh, see if I can find one, and then I'll um, if I can find a copy of what it looks like. Uh, I mean, we've got I've got probably I don't know I probably got six or seven trucks with Mercury Sleepers. The Western Star though is what I got to look and see. I don't know. Most of all the Western Stars that have been done are like the 4800. And the 49. So I'd have to I had to look at it and see if we got anything that really closely matches it. Um, check it out though. Well, I think we can do that, Ghost. We can always do that. We're always try to plan for one of these tonight. Hold up on the stream. Yeah, and I think his is the same. I think it's like a 49. It's it's not. It's about what everyone else does. 48 or 49, I can't remember. I, I, I lose track of them sometimes. Yeah, KBS it is. What's up, KBS? How are you, man? Uh, with transmission on is 396 Eaton. That's what we're using this one, I believe. I needed, I needed the towing gearage in it. We needed the hauling gears. Look at that. See, that's a good shot right there, man. I love those. It. One of my favorite skyboxes there. Delivery bar. So, so typically, uh, Doctor Aki. So typically, all of these mods that we have, they're they. Oh, we might. Oh, whew, that was a little sharper turn than I was anticipating. We typically don't have parts anymore for mods. Um, we're kind of past the part where they do that. People pretty much just do a truck all together, and none of those parts really bleed off into other things. So whatever you see on the truck minus the wheels and tires are from a free mod, um, that's about the only thing that you're going to be able to see differently on, on, on truck mods, trailer mods, is all the trailers. So everything you see on all the boxes, the trailer, the tire load that's on it, all part of the mod, same way with the truck. And so I don't, there's no separate little mods in there. It used to be like that when, when ATS and even when ETS first started, a lot of guys did a bunch of accessory type add-ons where you could have all of these and then you could have these kind of looks to this truck and this truck. But then after things got complicated, people started making their own trucks and they just make all their own accessories and on their own trucks. So typically now everything's all in package, one truck and all the accessories on it. So, yep, no problem, man. Got to ask questions to learn. And it's never a dumb question. It's only dumb if you ask it more than once. <laughs> you know, when you got your answer. That's what I'd like to say. Hey, what's up, Jay Camp? Dude, I missed your, man, what's up, man? Dude, I missed your five, man. You didn't have to give me another five for that one, dude. You didn't have to give me, I was get back, man. I, I, I forgot to shout you out there, man. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you there, Jay Cap, for your two super chats, man. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Well, I'm glad you made it there, Fusion. I haven't been streaming all week, man. It's been crazy at work. Uh, IRL Life has just said, you know what? I feel like driving a note drive this week. It's been a little busy, which is a good thing, but it's also it's also um, not good for your streaming life. So, I love the sound of the Jake break inside the truck. Nice. Mm. Matt Munson, what's up? Hey, what's up, Rado? Jersey X. I don't know if I'm like. I don't know. Is that should I should I holler to keep you up or? 
There's nothing worse than somebody saying, bro, I love watching your videos at night because I, like, I fall asleep just like that. I don't know whether or not that's soothing or whether or not that's an insult. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. I always typically think it depends on what day it is. I'm just kidding, man. What's my job? Something with computers? No. Me and my wife own a couple pieces of commercial uh, property and that we manage. And also, uh, I am a worship leader at my church. So music, uh, music is a uh, is second second IRL music music life. I'd say. <laughs> so it gets busy, and it's just been a busy couple of weeks. So. Uh, my wife is getting uh, very involved here. Spring is on the loom, so she's a couple of big projects that she's a part of. So I've had to kind of help with kids, and then just by the time we get down at the end of the night, man, I am beat. I'm blasted. So, yeah, no. Ghost Trucker, what's up, truck giveaway? Thank you, man. Appreciate that, buddy. Oh, Ghost Trucker, man, comes in, says hey, and says, hey, let's give a truck away, man. That's awesome, dude. Appreciate that very much, Ghost Trucker. <laughs> yeah, that I am not. <laughs> I, you could pay me enough for that job. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you could. <laughs> but I don't want that job. <laughs> I don't want that job, all in. Uh uh. No, sir. Yeah, I've got a big music weekend, too. I've got a couple of uh, buddies there. we got to play a. Uh, a weekend gig, so it's a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. So do not look for me on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. So I'm going to try to stream as much as I possibly can and get you guys a couple of videos done this week. I'm going to try my best to have some stuff done for this weekend so y'all can uh, y'all can check a video out or two. But it's going to be a busy one, and so that's uh, that's all right. It doesn't happen but once every couple of months, so it's always cool to get out and play with the guys and do uh do a nice weekend retreat gig it's gonna be cool looking forward to it milo what's up man i, I don't sing i'm a musician i just direct everything i have other people that sing <laughs> uh piano i actually i mean i play them all uh, but I typically, I'm, I'm usually the, the keys rig, but I can do acoustic, electric, and bass. I don't play drums, but I can do the others. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. Y'all fall asleep. I don't know. I'll take that as a compliment coming from y'all. <laughs> um, you know. I'll take it whether or not you mean it that way or not. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, man, Key, I was going to try to this week, man. I just didn't have time, man. That's like by Sunday, dude, I was just beat. I mean, I came home, and it was a crazy kind of Sunday anyway because my truck, my starter went out. 180-some thousand miles on the truck, and the starter finally went out. Figured out it was a crankshaft uh, starter sensor, and uh, that thing went out and uh, allowed my starter to run, burned it up, and, uh, and so it didn't crank, so... I finally got that thing towed off to the shop today. So it'll be back out tomorrow morning, afternoon. So that was how my Sunday was spent. So by the time I got done at the end, dude, I was like, man, I'm toast. I was like, your boy's going to have to wait till next week. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh, it's all worship stuff, Justin. So it's all the contemporary, uh, contemporary worship band stuff. But I've played, I played with groups that done everything, so it's typically been all of your, like, what I consider your wedding band. That's normally the, the groups that I've played with, um, which really have a collection of everything. Anything from Journey to Billy Joel to Bruce Springsteen. I mean, really all the classics, so. I mean, that's it, you know, is what it is. Love that. Love the gear down. It's so good, man. It's got that rock. Yeah, what was that key? What was that last video we did? Uh, did that? I, I got a bunch of comments on that video. That was the one I came in there. Was like, did we like the funk music in the beginning? It's like, yeah, ZTG for a little late night stream. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty funny. Yeah, no, you cannot sing in chat. Everybody's tone deaf in chat, believe it or not. <laughs> 
What graphics saw? This is JBX. So people have been finally asking me to, to put a little JBX in the in the sauce for streams. So here you go. Uh, Sven Scott, you'd ask if it drags on the frame rates. Not really. Um, they're pretty much, um, I would say, on par. There, there are times in certain sky boxes, and I think it probably would also depend if you're running, the, you know, at least if you're running the um, 2K or 4K monitors. Um, I definitely think he's got a whole nother frame rate. I mean, um, a whole nother sky box set is set out for 2K. Um, so I think it probably would determine whether or not you're running those would might put a little extra strain on the system. And obviously the mod, but yeah, I can tell, you know, anywhere from a five or 10 hit, um, a lot of people say that it differs. Um, sometimes it offers better frame rates. Sometimes it doesn't offer, um, you know, it, sometimes it offers better and sometimes it's about the same. I've always felt like it's a decent balance. Um, it's just, it's a lot of mods to stack up and what I find, and this is just my personal preference messing with all these payware mods, you have to be really careful where you stack this versus where you stack trucks, where you stack your light packs, all of these things all together is really, is really tough. Um, so it, it, it just, you know, it, it kind of, it kind of comes through really, really tough. So, Hey, Papa rocks. What's up, man? Thank you there, buddy. Nice $30 super chat there. So we'll give two trucks away in a little. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate the little tip there on the end. Jeremy, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Good to see you, man. Been a while. Uh, when's the next special heavy haul? What do you mean special heavy haul? You mean when's the the special heavy haul updates coming out? For 144, are you talking about when I'm going to haul another heavy haul? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, Q Dub. I couldn't, I couldn't get to the starter underneath the, in the gravel parking lot. I couldn't get to it, man. With a, uh, I couldn't get to it, unfortunately. It was smothered up under there. It's under a uh, exhaust manifold heat shield. The asphalt rider, what's up? We're gonna go ahead and go and hope you stop. Thank you. <laughs> That's God. <laughs> yeah, we're just. What all the kids say nowadays is straight vibing. Is that what they say? We're vibing all the time. We're vibing. I do have a couple of guys at church. That's all they say. It's just a vibe, man. Like what? What? No, it's not how you use that terminology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean. I hate actually doing that. I thought I might have just I'll send I'll send my mods into a frenzy and tell them I'm gonna guess a number and tell them to figure it and find it. Needle in a haystack time, guys. Needle in a haystack. Nice little center mod called Sissel's uh, what is it? Sissel's um S I S L S God, what do they call it? <laughs> Let's buy <vibe>, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, gosh, what do they call it, man? Ride right advisor. There you go. How old will you be there, Fusion? Now, let me guess. 14. Oh, Gucci, what? what wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. What, what was that I did like three years ago? Oh, <laughs> let's see what you're saying. Let's see. You want me to do a special transport in 143. I guess I'm kind of half doing it right now. Just doing it with mods. <laughs> oh, no, it's not my merch. Yeah, no, it's it's the outdoor. Oh, crap. See, I messed my backing up, man. Thanks, Gucci. Appreciate it, man. Oh, I was one year off. Well, happy early birthday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm shown. <laughs> yeah, I actually hated doing that. So I got Nightbot now. So Nightbot's the it's it's the it's the bee's knees, man. It never lets me down. It's always it's always ready for stream. Unlike Streamlabs, Streamlabs is never ready. All right, so I tell you what, let's give away one truck right now. And if, uh, oh, he's secret, you're in here, good. 
Oh, he's okay. All right, so Seeker, what do you want me to see? Because I always everybody wants to do their own thing. So before you get out of here, man, uh, let me know what you uh, want me to do, and I will get the correct information for you. Obviously, we'll pick one out through Nightbot, but I'll just make sure I get the right info. I do, don't they, Smokey? I, I can uh, I can show you a little build here, um, or I can at least maybe change it up a little bit. Put like some tanks instead of the boxes, maybe square up the front end. <laughs> Still watch that video. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, on on my Discord or through my Discord. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I can do that. Um. Yeah, we can do that. All right. All right. Let me pull it on by. All right. So y'all just connect connect with me through Discord, and then I will shoot you over to Seeker. Or if you if you see him, because he's in the um, the modders corner. So as long as you come in there, you can click on his name. Um, actually, just connect with me, and then tell me what your um. So when I typically do this, I'm going to tell you guys what you need you to do. Because if you haven't done it yet, this way you can go ahead and have this step done. Make sure you join the Discord, or at least make sure you're in my Discord. You can leave it later if you don't want to. You don't have to stay in there. I just want you to come in here long enough, and it's a simple click on the link in the description. And what I would like for you to do is when you win, if it's you, then all you need to do is tell me in the Discord, hey, I want it, and my YouTube name is, because only you would know that, all right? And then typically I'll have whatever you win in there. Or if you want to, you can tell me what your Discord name is in YouTube chat. That's even better. That usually wins. So if you win, um, that's what you can do. All right. Just let me know what your uh, – no, not Facebook name because I don't know what he's going to do. I'm just going to connect to you to him, and that way he can get your info through the Discord. So Facebook, don't make it complicated, Seeker. Don't make it complicated. It's already hard enough. I can't keep track of what all you guys need. <laughs> uh, yeah, not flooded. Yeah, I get you, man. <laughs> Third deal is for those. I actually hate it. Yeah. So we'll we'll say this. Yeah, we'll we'll say Discord for now, and I'll put you in contact. And that way, he can get the right info. All right. <laughs> so all you need to do is just hit me up in Discord, and then let me know in the YouTube chat what your Discord name is, and that way. Only you can know that information. All right, let me pull up Nightbot. We'll give one away now, and then what we'll do is we'll pull another. Uh, we'll put another little string of giveaway. I mean, another uh, string of trailer here together, and uh, I'll probably might just change trailers on you. I got a dry bulk trailer. It's pretty slick uh, that I just got out of the ATS Mods and Updates Facebook group, so I can throw that in there. All right, so let's throw, let's see, uh, let's just make it simple. Let's just make it this, let's make it haze. There you go. If you would like a haze, channel members, the guys in green, you get two chances. Uh, all the other regular guys have just one. Uh, everybody is eligible, so no one is ineligible for the giveaway. So make sure you type in haze. Just like you see the other guys doing in chat, and that will automatically enter you through the Nightbot, and I'll pick a um, Nightbot. will basically do like a roll it, like I'm rolling the dice, and it'll pick out a name, and it'll let us know in chat who wins. And it's about the best thing that I've found to do that. So while you guys are doing that, I'm going to very quickly jump us over here to the uh, over to the store. We are in Pueblo, I believe, so we'll do one more load, and then we'll do another giveaway on the back end of that. Uh, so if you don't win this one, if you still want to have another shot of winning before you go pay for it, uh, make sure you also, if you do connect with him on Facebook, make sure you let him know that FTG sent you and you'll get $5 off tonight. All right. So if you get it, if you get it in before tonight, I guess we'll, he'll consider ordering that. All right. Just letting you know. Just letting you know. All right. So here's some cool stuff as we're, you can make this big old front square in if you want to. It's just pretty beefy. I like the big old front square in. And you can also make it day cab in either or. Or both. Uh, you got the long 6x4, the short, and also the long 8x4, uh, which is pretty beefy. It's pretty nice. It's a nice beefy look. I like it with the day cab, actually. Looks really good with the day cab. So we'll leave the long one on there. ETC 400 big cam, so only 400 horsepower. So we were, we were cruising. 
Had the Ultra Shift 18 speed 370, and I thought it was 396, but not. There's your interior paint jobs. You got a couple ones. We can we can change them up. I like this one, Old Grizz. RH Heart Limited. It's a good one there. And then you got some other uh other custom just colors and whatnot for this one. I like these. Be nice if they had all, all they were all color changeable, but it's fine. I think we got a little FTG one in there. Yeah, we got some old school FTG up in his house. Um, let's see what we got. Let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, uh, for trailer hookup. So just hit control F nine as long as your hook, as long as your trailer is active. So if you hit zero detach from the camera and then you hit control F nine to set your truck back down, your trailer will automatically join with you. That's all you got to do. Wepa, hola amigo. Como estas? Que pasa? Let's do, which one is that? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So maybe we can pick a Paisley. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. What's up, Mr. Jake? How are you, man? Well, there you go, Gucci. There's my PC specs. Look at that, man. What's PC specs? And it all of a sudden pops up. I love that. Love that kind of stuff. It doesn't work very often, but when it works, it's fantastic. All right, let's do this one. I like that one. That blue's pretty. I'll show you a few other things here, and we'll get it. So don't don't uh, don't worry. We'll get you throw some eyelashes on here. You got some grills, painted stuff. Depending on what you like. Get all your grill screens in here as well if you like those. If not, it's fine. See so lights. Let's see. Bumpers got a slew of bumpers. Um, I like the logger bumpers like these. That's pretty cool. Um, big ones with the mud flaps on the front. That's kind of cool. Custom lights. Yeah, these are nice. I like those. Big old massive ones there. All right. So if you're just joining us, <laughs> these one not cut for you. Hey. Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Hey, it's always good when a truck comes with some skin. Some of them don't come with anything, and it's like, oh. Yeah, man, but it's it's a good it's a good healthy mix. <clears throat> I tell you how to get David. David hook you up with some good stuff. David's a good skinner. He's a good painter. All right, I'm 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 filling this one right here, and we'll throw the big square. We'll throw this big old square front end on here. And then I'm going to throw, let's see, chrome with the black mesh. I like that. I like it a lot. Front and black slots. I like that too. Let's do, um, let's take the box off the back here. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. And there we go. So throw that up there and then we'll throw, um, yeah, we'll throw the chrome steps up here. There we go. Yeah. Show you guys some stuff in there. What's up, Nathan? Yeah, yeah. Paint style screams old school. I know, man. I, I like it. I like it. I mean, I, I'm always I'm always one that can appreciate even new school with the old school flavor or uh, just leaving it old school. That's why I had the. Uh, that's why I had these old old uh, flapper exhaust pipes, man. I used to remember those flapper exhaust pipes being on every truck I ever saw going down the road. <laughs> so. We used to see a lot of Max, um, Mac Cabovers, Roadway up here in North Carolina. There was a lot of Roadway uh, transportation trucks roll down the road and stuff, and all of them. That's a, I used to see a lot of little cabovers like that. Of course, you don't see any of that stuff anymore, but that was a uh, good old days of remembering some of those trucks. We'll just throw a simple, uh, simple stack top on there. Throw them out there. Get a little AC up top if you need it. And I think we've got some. Yeah, let's see what we got back here. All right, chrome pull handles, all that good stuff. And the interior we can change if you like. Doesn't matter. Utility there. Let's see what we got here. Okay, there's that. Headache wreck. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And then you got the base one we had on there before. That's the uh, the logging one, which I actually really, really like that one. 
That's a that's a really that's a really cool one. I guess you could take this off too. We'll just run without a rack since. Yeah, we'll run a rack since we're going to run with this. Uh, would that be hydro unit back there? Is that that be maybe? Thank you there, Bowden. Appreciate it, man. But yeah, something simple. We can actually change the interior too. So if you want to do blue to match it, um, I think there is some blue stuff in here. Let's see. Let's do a. Uh, let's see if we can do a blue, a gray with the blue. Got a couple of different colors. I don't want to go like too crazy blue because then it'll be weird. Do gray with the logo. All right, where's the other one? Let's see, where's it at? Where's it at? And there it is, blue in the back. And then basically match your interiors. Got old school square front seats. Actually, let's throw, I'll throw some gray in here as well, but we'll leave, we'll leave some blue and some black to kind of change it up a little bit. Wet kit, that's what I was looking for, Lee. Thank you. I didn't want to say, I, I couldn't remember what it was. I knew it was hydro something there. It's a wet kit, that's it. Yeah, I'm still learning stuff. Try not to be the douchey YouTuber that thinks he knows everything that everybody in the comments assumes that knows it all. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's change our door panels and change our door panels. And let's draw for a truck. And then we'll get on the road and then we'll draw for another one there. So let's do matchup. Uh, man, I really do like that wood type. What's the white look like? Does it look good? Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll leave this. Yeah, there we, there we go. There we go. Is that painted? Yeah, let's put chrome on that. Yeah, there we go. Nah, we're talking to my millennial. I am T-A-T-S. I am a barely a millennial, but yes, I am a millennial. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes. I do remember that. So the slot's in there. Okay, wait a minute. All right, because I, I remember this now. So you said if I do... <sighs> under cab node with the slots. So... All right, let me see if I can remember where that, where that is. Uh, and I know when you're on stream, it's hard to tell somebody where that stuff is. Is it this one right here, the slots? I can drive a stick, yes. So here's the slots. Am I missing it? Oh, no, sorry. That was for the sticker. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. All right. Okay, wait a minute. That's the interior slot. Okay. I'm, I feel like I'm going crazy. Where is the undermount utility? Nah, it's been running, Sean. It won't go away. I can still see everybody still eligible for it. You're still good, bro. That's the good thing about an iPod. You don't have to do it after a certain amount of time. You just had it. This one? Nope. That's the tank. You just had it. Slots? What the? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Is this it? Oh, with the slots to the back of the app. Okay, okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm with you now. All right. Okay. I got you now. All right. My bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Woo. <laughs> I was like, I hate when people say, oh, you missed it. Because, you know, you got to wait on like the 15 second delay. Um, all right, so let's do, uh, let's do red. Can we just do some red signal lights back here? I don't want to do necessarily watermelons. So we got custom left. Let's do, I'll tell you what, let's do, I want to do a custom left signal down here. Custom right signal down over there. And... Uh, 383, just type in haze. That's all you got to do. Type in haze. And I will put in just a, I'm going to put a left and a right signal on the back of the cab. We got these back here. 
Let me get the wick hit. All right. Let's confirm that. See what that look baby looks like. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right. All right, if anybody has not entered Haze and you guys want to uh, enter into this giveaway, go ahead and hit it up now. If you already have done it, you're already in it. So almost got 100 people in here ready for it. So uh, I'll give you guys just a little bit extra. Just a few other times in there. So thanks to Ghost Trucker and also Papa Rocks here. Going to give away a couple trucks tonight. So thanks to those guys. Appreciate it very much. Uh, Hayes, H-A-Y-E-S there, Matt. Zizzo. Let's fix your spelling there and you're in. The only thing I liked about stream notes would keep reminding you guys to type that out. Maybe I need to add that as like a, I don't know, maybe like add that as something, I don't know, like a command or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean, hey man, whatever, 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 uh, yeah. Hey there, Mr. Holland, thank you there, cruise control. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. 14 months. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. 14 months subscribe there, man. Or membership, I should say. You don't really subscribe. I mean, you do, but not like Twitch. What's up, Alan? Good to see you, man. Rude boys, well. Been a while. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? All right. Let's roll it and let us know in chat who is the lucky winner. And better. Bowden or Bodden, I think it's Bowden. What's up, man? And I think he was actually uh, in chat earlier. So congratulations there, Bowden, if you're in. Um, as far as I know, Derek, yes. Um, I don't know that we've tested because the, the people that we were riding convoy with didn't have, or at least not everyone had them. So we just omitted them from our convoy. I would assume that they work as long as everyone has the most updated one. Um, but, I mean, if they've got it, throw it in there and try it. If you don't have it, then I would ask in his Facebook group or I would send him a message on Facebook and see if uh, if he's if he's got it. Yeah, Bowden. All right, Bowden. If you can, l shoot me a message in Discord and then, um, and then let me know in YouTube chat what your Discord name is if it differs. If it doesn't differ, don't worry about it. So you other guys, don't worry. We're gonna give one more of these away. So uh, let's let's go ahead and as he's filling that stuff out, let's go ahead. Let's hit down. I tell you what. Let's look at our trailer masters. Alan Fee, thank you there for the five, man. Appreciate that, buddy. Let's uh, actually we don't need to purchase. I don't think because we already got one of these. Pretty sure. Yeah. This is well, like one of my second favorite trucks. I mean trailers because it's just different. And it's free. Yeah, that's right. You guys heard that four-letter word, and it wasn't a bad one. It's called free. Thank you there, Rude Boy. Hey, thank you there for the $5, Mr. Rude Boy. Um, and Zell, uh, YouTube moderators, whoever out there in Aussie Sledge. What's up, buddy? Um, I am going to ship y'all to the Facebook group. And so a little thing about this, there's a lot of members in here. Um, so you can find all of this stuff under the Featured tab um, under Announcements. And this is where you can find, oh, wait a minute, this is where you can find all of the trailer announcements. So, uh, so you moderators, go ahead and throw that in your arsenal of links there. Um, this is one, if you guys want to, y'all can go. There's a ton of older free mods, free trailer mods. Um, some of them are quite dated, but there's a, a, a quite a few of those that kind of just become my everyday trailers. There's stuff I just really like driving, and the trailers still look good. You can obviously tell there's some dead. There's not like a lot of, um, you know, you can't do a lot of stuff with them. Uh, but they're still great trailers, and they're all free. So if you're looking for free mods, it's a really great Facebook group. Keith's doing a really good job of keeping up a lot of the old familiar classics from, like, I mean, we're talking, like, the early 
trailers from like Bart and Pinga, the ones that they kind of like just abandoned and decided to remake all that and just left them out free mods once the um, trailer ownership came in. A lot of these are just basically just enough to keep them updated. And uh, so just, you know, take a peek around there. Some good flatbed mods. Um, you're seeing this one right here, the draw, the heel uh, dry bulk tainer, uh, container mod. I love this one. It is a fantastic looking trailer, as you can see. Let me go ahead and let's pop up. Uh, let's do seven. There we go. Fantastic looking mod. It looks awesome. So that's why we're going to haul our Sega one in here. I know we probably should be hauling like a log truck or something, but we're going to haul that instead. And it's going to be fine. Bro money. All right. Uh, so, Bowden, just send me a message uh, out of my Discord or whatever. Just send me one. Um, if you have to join my Discord, that's fine. Just throw it, send it to me, and then I will put you in contact with, um, with Secret. Okay? That'd be great. Kevin McCurry, thank you, man. It's good to see you, buddy. Thank you there for your $2. And Jcap. What's up, man? How are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well, man. Um, <laughs> let's just read no T's. <laughs> I don't have a death tank on here. Not this one. I don't think I do, do I? No. Put steps on this one. Um, I like the needle nose better. I just wanted to drive the wide because I wanted people to see both variants of the truck, but yeah. Hi, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Next tire attack. So I'm using uh, this 24 and a half uh, is the wheel size. Uh, I couldn't give you the, uh, I couldn't give you whether or not it's a 315, 70 or 80. Or I have no idea on that. Um, but yeah, 24 and a half inch tires on these is what we're using from Smarty's wheel pack. That's as good as I can give you. I hope that's enough. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's uh, <laughs> let's do a little, uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to pull out of here? A little cement. Where are we going? How much time? Where, where are we at time-wise? One out of ten? Let's see. You want to go north up into Wyoming? Uh, oh, dang it. Double-click on the... Uh, You like them both? Yeah, I'll, I definitely like the needle nose better. I think the needle nose just looks older. I do think the square in the front end looks like the Marmon, which actually is a really great truck. So I can't wait till Ziggy Dan gets that Marmon fixed up and finished, man. That's going to be a great truck. I'm really looking forward to that. Let's, um, since we're doing some, uh, some, yeah, let's do this one. A little uh, early morning trip here out of Pueblo up to Cheyenne. So a little, oh, it's not really a big trip. That's a small one, actually. That'll work, and then we'll give us a, whoa, we just about cleared our front end off there. Wait, 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 wait. What in the world? Where, where are they, where are they sending me? No, no, no. Good gravy. Oh my gosh. All right, let's let's cheat a little bit here. Is that HMS? There it is. Ah, <laughs> any word on Texas, Montana? Nope. Same way it was in December. So I've I've told everybody what I think. <laughs> Uh, I, I think what they're going to do is release Montana first and then do DX-12 and then do Texas. They they said that they had not slated Texas release anyway till the very end of quarter four of 2022, which would not be Christmas of this year. And that was, they announced that back in like November, Christmas of this past year. So I don't look for it to be released anytime soon. I'm not looking forward to I'm not looking forward to secretly just pop out of there and all of a sudden us, uh, everyone have Texas in their laps. I don't think it's coming that fast. Uh, I definitely almost want to say that I think Montana's going to come out before it. I, I could totally be wrong on that, but I don't think I am. I don't know. We'll see if I'm right. 
I, I gotta I gotta be different than all the rest of the guys that think it's uh you know coming out any day now. Like now nah, SES don't surprise y'all like that. <laughs> Cause they still gotta get Rush out. Doggone it. Would that be would that be amazing? Like think about it. Like I well, say I say amazing. I mean, I don't want to say it's quite comical, because it's not really a laughing matter. Um, but, I mean, I think it's amazing how geopolitics... Um, so, everyone knows ETS, their next big, huge DLC. Like, I mean, it is a huge DLC. It's been almost a year. It would be equivalent to our Texas. Is Russia DLC? So, I'll be interested with just the geopolitics going on with Russia, Ukraine, all the things and nasty stuff going on. I'm just curious, like what like a video game developer like what goes through your mind about that you know i mean and i mean that all with all sincerity like i think that's like what a pickle what a pickle i mean it's crazy if you think about it but geopolitics can uh, can affect a truck simulator it's crazy it's crazy anyway just just you know ftg sound shower thought of the day all right let's uh let's pull some of this up here miles what's up yeah <laughs> uh, I don't, if you got my message, I did not get a, unless you threw it, no, I did not get a message. Um, so mine's just FTG. Are you in my Discord, Bowden? If you did, I did not get it. At least I don't think, let me see. Oh, I see what you did. Yeah. Um, hang on a minute. Oh, you're not, you're not in my, um, all right. Okay. There you are. You got that message. There you are. All right. I got you now. Uh, let's see. Are we loaded up? I don't even remember if we are. Yes. 48,000 pounds of powdered cement. <laughs> Too long straight. Uh, so, Alan, tonight it is 20. So, if you wind up, uh, if you wind up coming in tonight, uh, <laughs> Alan Crawler. Yeah, we had to hide that, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not even making laughing matter out of it. I mean, I just think you know it's crazy how geopolitics can play such a large and massive role, even in a relatively smaller simulation game. Like it's crazy. Okay, we planned this Russian DLC, but, you know, we kind of, like, can't do that now. I mean, you think about, I mean, just the fact that a company would work for a year creating just a road system to be able to drive in it, and then it's like, whoops. <laughs> it's like... Wah, wah. <laughs> it's like, dang. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Is this gate open for us? Yes, it will. All right, good deal. Rebel, what's up, man? Oh, oh, it would it would be canceling. Yeah, they're not gonna cancel it. Yeah, they're not gonna cancel it. I just thought that they have to be truly like sensitive to how they like treat it. You know what I mean? Um, Manitoba guessing is gonna be. Uh, you need to grab the updated one. If you do have the updated 143 W900, then you more than likely have a, um, a conflict mod that conflicts with it. Because it does work, because I've tried it. Well, to be fair, like, they're not too far from where the fighting's at. Well, I would say from the fighting, but I mean, if, if things got a little crazy, man, they're they're kind of like in that same right right neck of the woods. I mean, they're in the vicinity. I mean, I I wouldn't be playing around with it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll make some paint jobs. That'll be fantastic. All right, let me crawl up that hill right there. I thought that was a slow crawl right there. My goodness. A little overcast day today in JBX Graphic Land. We're uh, heading out here, a uh, little Pueblo towards Cheyenne, Wyoming. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
of Galston. <laughs> yeah, Diga, Diga Allen. That's good. Yeah, I know teammate Diaz. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I do feel for those guys and the Russian modders that do, you know, good work. Like, you know, I kind of feel, I feel bad for them because they're, you know, kind of an innocent bystander in all the mess, you know. So. Um, yeah, Derek, so the only thing I think of is maybe it doesn't work. Uh, the only thing that, that I would think of is, is, I mean, you just need to maybe contact him and see if he knows. Uh, and then if he's put it out there and there there is no, like, yeah, if he says, yeah, it don't work, then it don't work. Yeah, we get some uh, we get some good uh, some good interstate miles in on this trip. So we're giving another one of these away. So make sure uh, make sure once y'all uh, we we'll get we get to the end here, you guys can uh, we'll do another little drawing here for another giveaway. Yeah, I know Jaren is kind of what I was thinking. Uh, I may have actually put both on there, Darcy. I don't know if I actually put two serpents on there. I do that quite frequently. Y'all just don't ever see it. Sometimes I do that. Yeah, 383, yeah. Well, I mean, them, and I mean, well, it's, it's, so it's not, you know, it's the banks. So the Rupal crashed. Um, there, there was quite a few things that went down, and it's going to affect everybody, not just, you know, not just the top, which is what's, you know, kind of sad about the whole deal, is that nobody is immune from it. So, I mean, something like that with a country that big, it becomes a, uh, a world event. I mean, our gas prices over here are going through the roof just because of that. And we don't even get oil from that that part of the country. <laughs> I mean, that part of the world. So it's just like, what the heck? But yeah, man, everybody's going to feel this one. Yeah, Toro. So uh, links for this one, I think, as well. Let's see. I think uh, if you went up a few more, a few more rolls up there of your uh, scroll wheel. Uh, ATS mods and updates. We'll throw that link up here shortly. That's where you can get a lot of great freebie trailers. If you guys are really interested in y'all really can't buy any more uh, payware ones. They're fantastic. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to either going to put that in the auto delete or I'm going to put that phrase, uh, that VOOM, that uh, VUM, because every single one of those spam accounts that we have to uh, delete out, um, every single one of those guys come out with those. So if that's uh, if that's going to be some, I'll, I'll see if I can't do that as a, just a automatic spam check. Yeah, it's already past 370 here, Justin. Well, at least some places it is. Yeah, good up there, man. Yeah, it doesn't mean a lot. Not to us. To him, it does. When you click the link, it nothing but pull up. What do you mean, nothing pull up? What do you mean? For what? I wish there's still like a million links up there. Almost, yeah, 369. Yeah, that's crazy, Corey. That's crazy, man. Tell you what, man, this truck, even for a 370 gear set, man, this thing cruises pretty good. Uh, I need to try to join it. Yeah, Levante. Yeah, you know what, Scott? Even if we did that, I don't think it would do it. I don't think it'd do a lick of good, cause ain't none of that oil going here. That's the problem, man. We 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 get all of our oil from us in Canada, and then we ship it over to China, cause we make more money on it than if we gave it to our people, and then our gas companies couldn't make the money. Uh -huh. That's when you know the corporates have uh, have bought legislation. 
So they never do that because then they couldn't make as much money because there wouldn't be nowhere for their oil to go. We could fix it. They just choose not to, which is kind of the sad, and crazy, and maddening thing. So don't want to get in politics, though. Politics are never good for live stream. <laughs> uh, ATS mods and updates. <laughs> Uh, yes, Darcy. Yes, this is the uh, this is the the NTC Big Camp. Yep. So it's in this truck by default. But yes, you can you can grab the uh, NTC Big Camp for other trucks as well. So you are correct. Uh, yes, Jason, you can use G27. It will still work. As long as the wheel itself work, then yep, these will. Uh, John still. I mean, John's still there. It's just he's in Russia. I think he's in Moscow. Um, I mean, obviously he's fine, but I mean, it's just uh, just from a banking and a transfer. Like nobody's doing any kind of business with Russian banks, so unless you can somehow get credit cards to be able to transfer money in, like even credit cards aren't transferring money into Russian banks. So it might be a little hard for especially a lot of the ATS fam to uh, to be transferring a lot of money over to the Ruta. I don't know if he's got anything set up aside for that. I don't. I don't know if he can. I, I just don't know. I just know that uh, pretty much none of the world is doing any kind of business with Russian banks, and that means uh, credit card companies as well. So, you know, even if they may cut foot the bill, they still got to provide the credit to you to be able to put money and cash into the hands of people that are going to use Russian banks. So, <laughs> easiest stream ever. That's right. And then next week, there'll be like five people in FTG chat. I'll be like, what happened? I'm like, well, last week, you know, I don't know. We started talking about this and that. And before you know it, half chat was gone. <laughs> well, that's the thing. PayPal's pretty much cut most of all these monitors off. I guess they make too much money for PayPal. I don't know. Yeah, PayPal does not like them right now. Same thing happened over with uh, with Dom. He had gotten the issues with uh, PayPal and Ruta's the same, and a lot of the other guys. Some of them that use it, some uh, you know, some of them don't. I don't know. Oh wow, did he show really? Yeah. Yeah, that's tough, man. That's tough. That's tough. What? What a gloomy day. We can actually set a skybox to another skybox. I'm going to tell you to do that on. Alright, let's do that. Let's then do G underscore set underscore whoops. Skybox. Um There we go. There we go. It does, don't it there, Compter? Compter? I like it, man. It's definitely got a beefy sound. I mean, it's it's not too much, uh, but I like the placement of it, you know. I think it could have just a little bit more a little bit more grit, a little bit more gur, maybe some bite. I don't know if those are all things you describe a Jake Rake sound in ATS, but I'm going to go with it. Um, yeah, I think it'd be cool if we had a, a little bit of all that more on that. I don't think it needs to be more louder, just if I had a little more punch to it. But I do like it, man. It sounds good because it's got a good back down. You can. Uh, the good thing I do like about his is even though there's a lack of like multiple stages of sounds, um, the volume don't change between the third and second stage. So essentially, you can have the Jake Wreck on for a lot more time, and, and, and but you're not going to slow down nearly as fast. So. Huh. 
I think that's, uh, Corey, I think that's pretty much like y'all deal with that all the time, don't you? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Toss property weather time. That's right, man. We're making it rain up in here or making it nice and cloudy and partly scattered with an absolute no chance of rain. Um, I will get to Jess's. I, I totally forgot about Jess's there for a while. Um, and I think a lot of people just you know, kind of were freightlinered out for a bit because we had the FLC popped out and we had the, obviously we had the uh, cab over, then Bruda came out with his and it felt like everybody was putting out their freightliner. Now that it's like not such a hot topic, I'm going to go back to it and, um, and pull it out again. So, um, but yeah, I was going to do that, um, you know, here soon. I don't know when, but it's definitely on my radar of things to pull it, pull back out. Um, for the motor you get on ATS and mod, but you don't see it. Make sure that you unpack it there, Alabama. Uh, woo! About hit that one. Uh, make sure that if it's a RAR file, I think he packages his up as a RAR, then you have to unzip that, and then the SCS file is in that. You'll see it though, it should be 2.9. So, yeah, that's a, that's a shame, Sean. It's a shame. Gabe Ostick, this is a free one there, buddy. This is a this is a freebie there that is uh, put up by Mr. Uh, Keith Davis out of ATS Mods and Updates. So join that group. He's got a whole slew of freebies out there. So if you guys want any of them, then go grab them. They're good, and they're old. They they don't have a lot of stuff on them. I mean this this trailer basically you can change the wheels out. But honestly, that's all you need, man. Solid, dude. It's a solid looking trailer. It's got good chrome reflection material on it. So you know. That's all you need. You could be looking at it in the rearview mirror anyway. Only reason I'm driving third person right now is just so y'all can see it. Otherwise, I'd be up in the cab. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn? What's up, Gamer Bro? World of Tanks Blitzlion. Thank you there for the sub. Oh, crap, 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 crap. We just about missed that one. All right, so just so everybody knows, we are going to be giving away another one of these tonight. So just want to let you guys know so you are not like, oh, I wish I'd have known I'd have stayed in I don't know if that's what y'all would have sounded like when you said that. It's just kind of what my mind hears when I hear complainers and whiners. So if you ever complain, just know. But in my mind, that's, that's the voice I'm using for your complaint. So if your complaint sounds stupid in that voice, then I'm probably going to look at it and think it's stupid. <laughs> so if the... Um so the thing you want to do, guys, oh, maybe it's announcements. Hang on, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. All right, try this, guys. For all y'all having problems, you're going to have to join this group unless I threw you the mega link. So join that join that group right there. That should kick you over to ATS Mods Updates. you got to join the group, and then once you're upon your, upon your acceptance, then you can download all the stuff, all right? I maybe not made that clear, but if y'all are having issues with that, there you go. That, that's how you do it. My shift knob was custom made uh, by someone that doesn't do them anymore, or at least not to my knowledge. So, to, I mean, you could get them something similar from ATS Mods and Updates. I have no idea whether or not Southern Trucker's doing them. I know he got backed up and just stopped selling them until he could get some of his orders out. So that would be totally up to y'all, but I know ATS uh, Mods and Updates got some uh, that are similar to this, but... I'm not exactly sure. ATS mods and updates. Yeah, I've actually got a lot more than that, B9. I just don't want... I'll hold all my... I'll pull my... Uh-oh! Sorry there, station wagon. I didn't, I didn't mean to... Oh my gosh.
can't even see his station wagon. Oh, there they go. Oh, now I'm missing the light. Oh, it didn't cut by. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sean, you're already in that group. <laughs> you probably got a link off somebody's uh, comment. It was like, hey, can I get a link? And you clicked on it, joined the group. Like, oh, I for forgot about this place. There's some wonderful stuff up in here. <laughs> That's my other Peabody voice. Whenever guys finally it clicks, you know, and they pick something up. All right, Cheyenne, here he is. Give away another one of these wonderful 74 Clippers here at the end of this, so don't go anywhere if you want another shot to win this. Uh, I'll give you another keyword you guys can enter up. In the lovely state of Wyoming. A lot of fish. I have a lot of word. I have a lot of them. What's up, Ryan? <laughs> I know it's a Clark. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. What, these lights in the cab? What are you talking about? Those, those right there? Um, I think those lights are the ones that are supposed to come on. I think uh, just as basically like interior ambience lights. If that's what you're, if that's what you're, you're asking about. I think it's what you're asking about. There's actually a lot of trucks, and a lot of custom trucks have lights and watermelon lights in the dash like that. I don't know if you guys know that Truck and Passion uh, YouTube channel guy. It's got the Kenworth with the blue fenders. Um, I think his light, I think his truck has dash uh, watermelon lights like that. But then he has them across all the rest of the top, but. Lucky, I mean, um, somewhat. Um, I mean, I, I think I've got them better. I, there's just problems. There's this problem with ATS. Um, and I think it's ATS and, and at least the way my system is encoding, um, I, I, I mean, it's better. Um, it's better than it, than it was, but it's still not completely where, like, I can do iRacing and then, and then really be ripping 120 frames, pushing it all the way and really not having any kind of an issue. There's just other things that, at work at play there. Um, I don't think I'm pushing parts of the system enough other things ATS is just struggling to push hard enough so I think it's a two-fold question but it's better than it was so I've at least smoothed out most of all my gameplay some of that was mods um, some of it was just settings that I'd going in cleared out the config file I just kind of basically started off with a new fresh fresh run of it all so we'll see but things are definitely a lot better than they were so thank you there Benjamin Franklin thank you there for the sub oh Benji Frank be frank. No, I mean the ones hanging down for the camp. Oh, um, so these lights right here. Now, these are like the anti... Now, you old school truckers can help me out. I know there's a bunch of trucks that run these as like anti-glare lights. Am I correct on that? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, that stinks there, Sean. So those red lights are like a part of their 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 reason they're there. Uh, pretty much lucky. And that that's part of the problem. Most of our games are already multi-thread, multi-core. So even though you might have 16, 
or eight, or if you've got two, it might help your multi using a lots of different programs alongside with, with ATS, but if you're just driving ATS, you're no better off if you have a really fast and crazy I3 or whether or not you have a fast and crazy, you know, I9 or an I10. It, it, it doesn't matter. Or an 11. You could have a 16 core, 18 core, 26 core, but the ATS they're going to use one. So unless your speeds on that one core are not fast enough and doesn't have enough space in it, then uh, yeah, you're gonna see you're gonna see drops no matter what kind of graphics card you're running. So I've learned a lot. Uh, that's why a lot of people are really pushing for the DX12 because that will help immensely because uh, it will allow us to have other travel lanes of information between multiple cores. Um, be able to ho hopefully offload a lot of graphics to the graphics cards better so we can utilize a lot of this new stuff. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully big updates in the future, man. Hopefully big big updates in the future. All right, so we're going to deliver that. Let's go ahead and del let's deliver you guys another freebie truck here. So let's, uh, let me, let me, um, oh, let's see here. Let's go back. Oh, shoot. Let me get back into night, uh, Nightbot here. Let's see. Channel members get two. Mods are up. And da, 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 da. <whistles> let's do keyword and let's do. Hmm. Hmm. All right, there you go, Clipper. All lowercase, though. Sorry. I know they mentioned that. I, I don't know if they'll do a whole new engine. I mean, it's, it's essentially going to have to be one anyway. <laughs> it's going to have to be a new engine. There you go, Clipper all lowercase. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they'll do a new engine, man. I mean, ETS would have to get the same treatment. And, I mean, I guess it would be if you did moved up DX12. I mean, it would be a new engine. Kinda. I will say that it's a good thing about what we have now. We have a lot of um, a lot of opportunities now for um, us to utilize new tech, um, and then be able to upload all that new tech. And then people be able to download that and update through Steam and all that other stuff. So it's really um, wind up our horizons. Um, I got to tell you guys, while we're waiting for y'all to put in clippers, so just give me about another minute. So if you guys want another copy of this one here, I'll give you another minute that we're going to draw. Um, I've got some announcements of things I'm hopefully going to have for you guys. Some new games as a part of Steam Next Fest. So if you're not checking out some of these new games, um, some of these are really funny. Uh, some of them are hokey. Some of them are just good time wasters, um, which I can appreciate a good time waster game. So um, you guys are going to see some new stuff um, here probably this, uh, this week. And it's going to be definitely not trucking. Uh, definitely stuff that I wouldn't necessarily play on stream. But I think making a video of it, just showing some Next Fest games, things I've kind of found interesting, I think you guys will probably, oh, I hope you'll like it. So, well, I, They did in Christmas time, they, they announced the big upgrade to the engine and moving up to DX12. So what's up, Bear? How are you, man? How's that Starlink? I think Bear's over there living in Elon Musk land. How are you, buddy? Clipper, I barely knew her. <laughs> All right, we good? Everybody in? So special shout-outs there to Coast Trucker and also to Papa Rocks, man, for uh, for a couple sponsoring a couple of these uh, gift giveaways here, man. Appreciate you guys very much. Um, it's good, man. Ace of Spades, what's up, pal? How are you, man? Hope you're doing good. Uh, Hammer Mike, what's up, man? Doggone, seeing some some old familiar faces. So good, man. Good to hear, Bear. Good to hear. All right, uh, we everybody good. Logan, what's up, man? Doing any flying, man, dude? I okay. So I got a level with you, Ghost. I pulled up Flight Sim and I said, you know what? I, there's some there's some stuff I want to check out. And I looked at my updates, bruh. A hundred and eighteen gigabytes worth of updates for flight sim i was like holy crap <laughs> so i'm gonna have to like just you know i'm gonna have to let it go one night and see what happens <laughs> see if i get them all in i was like oh my god I cannot believe i let 118 gigabytes go by and missed it that bad <laughs> that's how much that's just how fast 
flight sim right now is moving. It's moving literally at the, the speed of a jet. It's crazy. And there's some really awesome stuff coming out too. So I'm 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 kind of like I'm kind of stupidly psyched to want to do some of that. So I don't know. We'll we'll see if we ever make it back into that kind of realm. So uh, anyway, they have been doing a huge amount. All right, y'all ready? Let's do this. All right, let me give you about tw 20 seconds now. Go ahead. If you haven't put it in, put Clipper in. We're going to go ahead and give you a giveaway on this one, courtesy of uh, Mr. Ghost Trucker and Papa Rocks. If you already put it in, don't worry about it. But make sure if you haven't, uh, make sure that you guys go ahead and are eligible for a giveaway. So... World update. Goodness gracious. The live radio on ATS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what uh, what's in the next world update there, B9? The last one I remember was Ireland. <laughs> Shows you how long ago that was. <laughs> what about farming? Eh. <laughs> What I found out is uh, this past week was a pretty much a, a pure representation of the fact that um, I can barely even do ATS content. <laughs> I mean, it was so it was a struggle this week. By this past week, man, it was an absolute struggle. So you know, <laughs> is what it was, man. I was like, dang, up, man. It was uh, one of those weeks. Every time I get ready to do that, too, it's exactly what happens. So, all right, here we goes. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Rolling it away. And let's see who Nightbot pulls up in our chat. Steel Biscuit. Reminds me of the famous Aussie saying, oh, biscuits. Look, yeah, I didn't race at all last week. I didn't have no time, bro. I literally was looking at my last stream. I was like, oh, my God. It was like six days ago. I was like, holy crap. can't believe I didn't stream that long. I don't know that I've ever done that in four years of doing it. <laughs> you can tell it's all about it. I know, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's still up in the house. Still, still, still. Hello. Still. If he's not here, we're rolling it again. Oh, he said it scared me. I didn't know. <laughs> there you go, Ben. Congratulations there, everybody's like, oh. Everybody's like, all right, well, I can leave now. Good, good, good. All right, man. Well, hit me up in Discord, and these guys can throw you a Discord link. If you don't have it, it's also in the description. Um, just click the link, join into it. Super easy, web-based, phone-based, whatever you got. And then make sure you send me a message in there. Let me know that you won just so that I can, you know. <laughs> Gabe's like, all right, peace out, Muchachi. We'll see you, man. And then that way, um, just send me a message in there and uh, let me know. And if you want to, let me know on YouTube what your name is, your Discord name. That way I just know who to look for. Um. And then that way I can double check. It's a good way to kind of protect other people from trying to claim that they're you. <laughs> well, then why is he here, Mark? He should be out there looking. <laughs> I guess it was a blockbuster night. I said I got a shirt on. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got a shirt on. It says, make it a blockbuster night. Maybe that's why someone said, hey, are you a millennial? Maybe, maybe that's why that may, maybe my shirt dated me because you got to be a certain kind of special to know what uh, blockbuster night was same on both all right send me a message there steel biscuit there he is man all right buddy i got you in here so i will shoot you guys over to um uh to seeker so he'll probably you'll probably be getting a message for him um and and then that way you guys can uh, y'all can get up or whatnot man thank you there ghost appreciate you buddy thank you man thanks for sponsoring the truck giveaway man as always uh big sport of the channel here and uh it's good to see you man glad you're doing well and um <laughs> if you could do that 
<laughs> I am a millennial. Yes, I am. Uh, by by two years, I'm a millennial. So I'm at the first the first end of that, which basically millennials kids that grew up without cell phones and then later got cell phones. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, how do I how do I know about the internet? Oh my god, <laughs> scary. <laughs> well, thank you there, Freightliner. Appreciate it, man. Um, yeah, so uh, I think if you guys got questions, man, if something something goes wrong, y'all forget if if messages don't get connected, just let me know. Um, so how do you, how do how do you claim the price? Uh, what do you mean? So you oh the prize. So Bowden and Steel, what I'll do is I'll I'll send your info Discord names over to Seeker, and then which is the creator of the truck for Mason's Mod Shop. And then he will go ahead and get whatever info he needs from y'all. And then the trucks will be free. So he'll send you download links. You guys will download the pack and the mods. And then you'll get updates through him. So that way, after that, you won't have to deal with me. You'll get all of your updates and everything through him. And that should be good. Um, and and that usually is the best way. That way, I don't have to try to get in. I don't have to try to get in the middle of that. So it's always good. So thank you there, Ace. Appreciate it, man. So thanks there to Ghost and Papa Rocks, man. Ace of Spades there for some nice super chats and super motes, man. Appreciate it, man. You're on the other end, I, <laughs> I know, I know. It's all good, man. Millennials are good. They're good. So yeah, and if you guys got any questions, man, if something just uh, you know, shoot me a message, it's fine. I, I will answer to most messages as long as they're not dumb. So, uh, so thank you guys, man. Appreciate it as always. Um, I guess we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get out of here. Uh, so thanks there to Mason's man. Good, good, good truck, man. You guys go check this out. Uh, go get you one copy of this if you want it. Uh, if you don't know, we'll do we'll do some more old school trucks as well. So I'll just kick this one off with a couple of Chaos Shadow Walker trucks as well. Um, we'll throw some of those in the mix because those are solid, solid old school trucks that are different, you know, than our typicals. And then we'll return back um, to some of our other uh, normal rigs and stuff, 79s and 89s and all that other good jazz. Hopefully got some updates with the Rolling 389. A lot of guys have picked that one up as well, so we got some big updates coming from that. And then obviously, like I said, this week we've got some pretty cool stuff at the end of this week. I'm going to try to get some videos uploaded and get them set up for this week because I told you Thursday, Friday, and Saturday I will not be here. Um, I will be out playing um, playing a gig for that entire weekend, um, so it's going to basically stop me from being able to stream. But I'm going to try my best to get you guys a couple videos of some stuff from the Stream Fest, which is or the next fest, which is uh, basically Steam's kind of like uh, early access games, demo games of things that's coming out in the future. And uh, there's some pretty hokey titles that I thought I kind of had a little fun with. So uh, hopefully you guys, I, I mean, hopefully I'll enjoy them. Um, it's a little different content than our typical ATS stuff, but it's still, it's still funny. It's still good. So, um, I hope you guys will see it. Anyway, click on it, let it play in the background. If you don't like it, turn the volume down, just get it a good solid view and some watch time. It's a great way to, to help the channel. Even if you don't have money to donate, uh, just turn the video on. If you don't like it, just put the volume down, put it on the backdrop somewhere and just do whatever it was you were doing. It's great. It's a win-win for everybody. So, <laughs> live stream, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. So, uh, but yeah, moonshine. Hey, hey, that's that's one of them. Let me tell you, moonshine. Let's see, moonshine Inc. is one of them. What was the other one? And it's all right. I could see a lot of people enjoying that one as they're kind of chill out. Electrician sim. Yeah, I would do that. Food truck sim. And an interesting one called Winter Survival. Um, actually a really good game. I was surprised. I'm usually not a survival guy, but this one was actually pretty cool. Lots of uh, winter survival crafting and all kinds of kind of fun stuff. I was like, hmm, this is actually a lot better than I thought it was. So anyway, if any of you other YouTubers steal that before I get the movies out, I am going to hate y'all and I'm never doing anything with you again. So, all right. Anyway, I will leave on that note. All right. So you guys take it easy, and I will. Uh, I'll see you guys. Um, other, you guys have a sensational night as well, man. Congrats to our winners. Any questions, hit me up. Other than that, I will see you guys. Hopefully, if all things go well, we'll see you tomorrow night. At least I think things will be okay tomorrow night. I don't know. We'll see. IRL may get in the way, but if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow night, guys. All right, y'all take it easy. Peace out.